Hello, everybody. DJ Kaiser in the house. <laughs> oh, that sounds good to say, even though it's uh, well more than a little exaggerated. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's let's do this. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yes. Yeah, so not quite DJ Kaiser, but song is now on Spotify as of today. My latest, my latest, my first, my only, whatever uh, song for this new EDM playlist that I'm looking to launch. It is on Spotify as of today, which actually felt really cool. It's a completely new experience for me. Something I've never done, never thought I would do. And honestly, 10 days ago, not even a week ago, probably even less than that, I'd have been like, no chance. I would I would never have seen myself doing this, but it's been a really fun thing. Anyway, we're gonna talk about that more later. Hello to Bactrio, who says, finally, dude, it's been three days. Come on, man. It's only been three days, but you know what? I love that you miss me. I miss you too, all right? How about that? Uh, hello, Cleb, Omi, uh, oh my goodness. Um, I, I see Q and Boz. Can I just call you Icy? Maybe that might be better. <laughs> hello, Glitter, that edit. Emma, oh my goodness, you guys are always here. Thank you so much. Wizard's always here as well. Hello to you. Myriad's back again. I appreciate that. And I think that's, that's everybody in chat at least mentioned for now. Um, okay, so I wanted to get this started and underway. You guys are getting spoilers here a whole episode ahead of time. How about that? Uh, we are building an apiary. She here, Beekeeper 4, so it's already level 3. Um, thank you, Wizard. Thank you, thank you. So, yeah, this is how it's going to look. Here we go. And uh, we're just making it up to the next level right now, which is cool. And we're going to get up to level 5. So, I can only do this one, level 4, because the transition to level 5 from level 4, I want to have that recorded on the camera. So, um, as opposed to recorded on the bicycle. Uh, you know, just <laughs> I want to time lapse it basically. Is the music too loud, guys? I feel like it's a lot louder than usual. Got, I've got a bit over hype with the music, quite potentially. Uh, Meadow Blue, hello, hello. All right, see, 16 cactus fence. Start getting some of the stuff in. And there is plenty to do on today's stream, that's for sure. I've been making a list. I've started making a list of things I want to do on stream because there's just so much to do in this mod pack, uh, which is all part of why I love playing this pack, of course, or even just like modded Minecraft in general. But in particular, I think this pack, you never run short things to be doing. You've started playing Mine Colonies. That is awesome. How are you finding it so far? Are you enjoying it? Um, it's uh, it's a great pack to get into, I'd say. Hello, Glitter. Hello, hello. I did say hello before. Now, I'm not saying that for any other reason. Though. I want people to recognize this because you know what? I'm so bad at reading chat. So when I actually get one, <laughs> I, need, like, I need that to go on my official records, right? Um, but yeah, welcome back, Glitter. Good to have you here as always. You found a way to ch yes, you can indeed change your build style uh, from one to another. So that that is pretty cool. And you know, when I get towards the end of the series, I think I just need to do tons of tutorial videos. That'll be a good thing for me to do. And that was one of the things I was thinking when I saw it myself that I need to get into. Uh, set up single player with this mod and others makes it really hard but fun. Yeah, integrating other mods and things is always tricky. Um, you left the stream. Claire, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, no, you're all good. All good. All right, Azure Blue A's or whatever. Do I have Azure Blue A's? I need eight of them. What do they even look like again? These are oh, those little things. All right, let's have a look. Uh, man, they fixed such an obscure flower here that they need me to have. And I don't know that I have any of these. So we might be going on an Azure Blue A hunt. We got one. Now, I don't know if we can bone mill these or not. I'm assuming not, but I'm going to try because if we got one... Um, it would be so much easier if we could. Ah, no, okay. All right, well, in that case, uh, we're going on an Azure Blue A hunt. Uh, in the meantime, we'll give the dude other stuff as well. Um, yeah, how's the music, guys, in the background here? Is this too loud or is it good? Are we, are we okay with it? Too loud or about right? Let me know. All right, so we'll give him everything we can for now. Hello, Callie. Hello, hello. It's fun, but a lot of new things to test out. Yes, I've, I've enjoyed testing things out on this pack, though. Um, just because it's like an experience that I don't get too often these days. You know, to actually not know how to do something and then test it out. I used to do that in Minecraft a lot. Oh, wrong one. This one. All right, we're going looking for Azure Blue. All right, let's have a look on the map. If I was in Azure Blue, eh, where would I be? I reckon flying down through this region is going to be good. So let's see where we are right now down through that corner like this way this is going to be the way to do it i think so yes um 
My Twitch channel now has just over 10,000 views as of today, I suppose, or I did the last stream. Um, keep your eyes peeled for Azure Blue Rays, by the way. Give me a shout if I miss them in chat. But yeah, so thank you all for that. That is an awesome milestone to reach. Um, these are not Azure Blue Rays. Yeah, 10,000 views is a lot. I remember how long it took me to get my first 10,000 on YouTube. Uh, a lot longer, that's, that's for sure. But obviously, I didn't have, you know, 27,000 subscribers on another platform, which somewhat helps <laughs> um but anyway thank you all for being here um i know that a lot of you have given me a lot of those views some of the uh, people who are here like every stream and it is greatly appreciated and an awesome uh, celebration to have here on australia day whoop, whoop. so i mean i i feel like so i'm, I'm english right but i am wait have i where was i trying to go i don't even know um I'm, yeah, so I'm English, but I'm also Australian. I've got dual citizenship. Um, I'll always feel more English, I think, than Australian because I was born in England. I spent my entire childhood there. I was 18 already when I moved to uh, Australia. So I feel like I'm very, you know, Englishness is in my bones, right? It's Haley's Craft. Hello, hello. It, you changed your name, Haley. Is that, is, that, uh, is that a sign of things to come right there? Is your blue ace? Haha. <laughs> We only need seven of them, and my goodness, we might just have seven of them. Oh, something good happened already. Hey, D's back. Wow, two months already. My goodness, I can't believe it's been two months already, D. Uh, but talking to people who support me, uh, I don't think there's anyone. Uh, well, I tell you what, actually, it's not fair to say I don't think there's anyone. There's a few people close, but D's certainly up there as one of my best all-time supporters. So thank you so much, D. Um, your your support is greatly appreciated. And another month, another celebration here on Aussie Day. So yes, um, as I say, I am celebrating it to an extent. There's a lot of controversy over here around Australia Day because people want to change the date of it because of the mistreatment of Aboriginal people here in Australia historically. Now, I totally get that and what happened was absolutely awful, but I think, you know, that's not what anyone in their right mind is obviously celebrating on days like today. And to me, it's just celebrating um living in this wonderful country that's that's my personal what it's all about right i love living here it's a cool place so that is uh that's what it is for me and so we're having a little celebration of that today uh that's awesome Haley. um oh Haley has a video out and i haven't seen it yet i am disappointed about this was it mine Collins video or what was it i'm gonna check that out tomorrow if i remember which i won't <laughs> i'll try to remember that's for sure um okay so you've got everything you need now yes you do wait a second don't be dude uh cancel that and then yeah sometimes if you don't cancel it they just kind of get caught up on the thing i just find it easier to cancel um uh, that is awesome Haley. i am very much looking forward to having a watch of that that ah, noob's fine I've, I've made a career out of being a noob <laughs> it's all good I like being new sometimes. I think, you know, like, if you guys have a favorite movie or just a movie you really like, you might be able to think of this. Have you ever thought, like, how cool it would be to just be able to have your memory wiped that you'd ever see the movie and then sit down and watch it, you know? And you wouldn't know anything that was coming. You'd just, like, really enjoy it because it would be, for you, the first time watching it, right? And uh, that's what being new is a bit like, right? It's... Uh, you know, you, you don't really know what's coming and sometimes that can be great and obviously it doesn't always work out. But that's why I like having new projects as well. You know, I, I, I've been banging on, probably boring you guys already. Uh, just you wait, because I'll tell you something. I, I'm talking about my um, EDM playlist thing I'm making. But yeah, when once that's actually out, I will be boring you all silly with it and promoting it like there is no tomorrow. But yeah, so it's, you know, it's fun having those new things to work on, I reckon. Um, Keeps you, you know, gives you something to get up for in the morning, as they say, right? All right, so Zoo Blue A's in here. We got one left or whatever. That's fine. Oh, Beekeeper Four is almost done. Now, what was in here? Ah, yes. Oh, shout out to Beetle, by the way, who brought me a Nether Star, um, which is awesome. Thank you. And I should show you guys this. So this is a blazing impalation blade. This is how you make it. It's expensive to make, but the good thing is, use it on any skeleton, 100% chance of a wither skeleton drop even a normal skeleton right literally just a normal skeleton in the overworld 100 percent chance pretty sick and look at this 
Check this out. 13 attack damage and 3 attack speed. How good is that? As a sword and a half, guys. Uh, you feel that way about a lot of movies. There you go. See, I'm not the only one. I knew I wouldn't be. What can I say? Um, what else is being said in chat here? Sometimes watch a movie. That's true. Definitely that's true. But I don't know. Sometimes like there's nothing like seeing it for the first time. I don't know. Uh, who told him that? Wait, what? Ah, uh, Cali. Yeah, so Cali discovered this. And Beetle told me uh, earlier and, and, get, and made the sword for me and stuff. Thank you, Beetle, for that and for the Neverstar. We'll make a Beetle's beacon at some point. Maybe even to stay straight. Oh, look at the guards. The guards are all here. I think I think the bee farm's all right, guys. Yep, I think I think you can probably you know. No, they're they're having a really good look around here. This is uh, this is great. I wanted to have a little look at. It. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool, guys. Level five actually has an enclosed roof as well, so that's gonna be cool. But yeah, I'm liking this, and we do have one bee in here at the moment. Actually, one thing we might do in this stream is try and get a second bee over here. You know, that's a great little thing. Let's just do that for a bit. The guards want honey, yeah. They're, I think they're charging the beekeeper protection honey. Huh? Not protection money, protection honey. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that 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 hive is, uh, or the apiary over there is absolutely buzzing. You can breed bees, yes. And I, I think the um, apiarist, is that it? Apiarist? The beekeeper. I'm pretty sure he will um, breed them for us as well, which is cool. Uh, right, so this is my special saw that can go in there. I'll just keep this one for now, but that is... We want to keep that safe. Now, to get the bees, I'm going to want a flower. Yep. And one of these as well. I'll go and try and, like, fill this up, and we'll see how we do. Now, do I also want... Yeah, maybe I do some blocks here. Just to, like, block them in, if needs be. If needs bees. All right. Protection, honey. Myriad loving it. Haley with a dad joke. Hello, life maiden. How are you going today? All right, so where are we going to find bees? Probably through here. I just need to find them flying around. It's actually reasonably difficult to find them. Um, but we'll see how we go. I, I'm pretty sure there is one buzzing around in this area somewhere. But finding them is not the easiest. Um, we'll just have a little wander around here for a bit. Anyone sees a bee, shout in chat as quickly as you can. Because uh, there's the delay and stuff. And I'll try and go back and see it. No trolling. All right. Trollers be be banned for life. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Zip power. All right, where are we going here? I guess just right through this birch pine because I found a bee hive, bee nest, whatever in here at some point. So, I mean, for that reason alone, I would say there's the potential that there's more. But I also feel like I did see one walking around here at some point. I haven't slept in 19 hours, so I just want to say hi before I pass out. Go sleep. Go sleep right now. That is too long. <laughs> but thanks for stopping by, Life Maiden. Always nice to uh, to see you again. Go have a very good sleep. I'm sure you will after so much awakeness. Flower forest would be great, but I don't know where there is one. That's the issue there. But yes, if we stumble upon a flower forest, we have truly beaten the game at that point. Bruh, go to sleep. Haley, you're a bruh. You're, you're someone who says bruh. I don't know if that's... Oh, why am I... This is so laggy. Stop this. Um, yeah, I, I didn't hear you down as a as a bra girl. Hey, Chicky. Hello, hello. Sorry, Chicklet. Sorry. Yes, I am. That was that was like a... I know this is just text, and, and I'm not supposed to infer things, but that was like a yes, I am with confidence. I felt that. I felt that vibing through there. So I don't even know if we're going to get any bees in this particular biome. But we can have a little look around, because why not? And yeah, we're like heading out of it now. Let's see, where are we on the map? We're going to make a right. Let's like fly up through here. We've got this way. Oh, the iron farm. Actually, you might be right. Uh, you just might be right there, Glitter. And that would be nice. Oh my goodness. Ah. Okay, the lag is real. Always do things. Do you know what? That is so true. That is a really underrated life lesson. Do it with confidence, even if you don't have a clue what you're doing. Because the worst that will happen is people like, dude, did you see that guy? Like, he was so confident about it. He had no clue what he was doing. So what? Like, that doesn't matter if people say that, right? If that happens, things that could happen. It's not a problem. 
But, you know, at least look like you know what you're doing, right? Oh, here's Flower Forest. Here we go. Okay. Bees, bees. Where are the bees? Bees, please. All right. So we have a bit of a laggy thing to say. Hey, thanks, uh, Endash. Thank you very much. Um, I had a very normal Aussie day. I didn't really celebrate it at all. Well, I didn't. I didn't do anything different to what I do every day. But, you know, that's mainly because I'm really just happy working at the moment, getting on with uh, my new things, my new projects and stuff. So, uh, not a complaint. It was out of choice, not out of, like... It wasn't my choice, it was everyone else's. No one wanted to spend time with me. <laughs> just kidding. Well, at least I hope I am. But, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy. With, with, like, I actually... When I'm, like, at my happiest, I think, is like when I'm working on new projects and things. You know? Feels good. Feels good to have things to get up for and be productive with, right? I know. Poor, poor me, indeed. Hmm. This is a good shout because it is a flower forest but it's a small one isn't it it's not that big like on the map right here you can see it's just this area through here right we could explore more that way near the village but yeah i'm not sure this is gonna yield the bees yield the bees is a very posh way of saying that isn't it okay uh let's go fly up on top of this hill up here Oh, I love Elytras. Guys, can you remember Minecraft before Elytras? What were we thinking? How did we even play back there? Oh, am I seeing things or did I just see a B? I am seeing things, I'm hallucinating. More success with Aspen Groves. Okay, well actually we could use the nature's compass to find specific, oh, a bee! Ah, there's a bee! Oh, I don't have a campfire. Don't I need a campfire to break the hive? Well, I think I can break the hive, yeah. No, that's fine. It's only if I was doing... Alright, that's it. Now, this is literally all we're going to need because we can breed it with the bee we have back at our place. So that is brilliant. That is so good. It's the bee's knees. How about that? Bee! Chat's all on it. You guys actually saw before me, but thank you. Uh, I did I did get it. <laughs> alright, alright. We good. Dad jokes. Emoji. Flood in the chat, as always. So, like, yeah, how's this doing at the moment? Uh, another 1,800 iron blocks. Wow. Because I already have... Uh, where's my storage? Uh, I didn't rope the bee. Nope. Uh, he's living in here. Aha. We have him trapped. Trapped in his own nest. Uh, yeah, I've got like 8,000 iron blocks. How good is that? Maybe I should make the roads out of iron blocks. <laughs> make my life easier, that's for sure. That explains a lot on me, because I went there and got like a full large backpack of iron from it recently. Uh, iron blocks, that is, by the way. Which was sick. Alright, so what I want to do is put you down like... I guess there. Right, now, what you can do with this, by the way, is you can get the hive tool. It's in my inventory there. Right-click a hive. Alright, hive has been added successfully. Wonderful. Now, Mr. Harrison, go and do the hive. He should be doing it soon. Bees can die by the campfire, right? I thought that too, but then why did they include a campfire in here if that's the case? I don't know. You yeah, can put trapdoors? We can do that. Also, I don't know what Harrison's waiting for. Let's see what his request is, because like... Oh, glass bottle? No, you... Oh, yes. Oh, this was something I was testing on cam. So you can go collect honey or collect honeycomb. Now, he has shears on him at the moment, so we'll just keep it honeycomb and do that. But I'm glad that works, because that was something I was testing. Um, man, this song will be crazy. I'm going to just move on a little bit. Uh, <laughs> that, was a, that was a crazy song. All right, let's see. So what do I need to do? What was I here for? Trapdoors to save the bees, guys. It's a worldwide problem. Without bees, there's no use in me's. That's how the rhyme goes. And as everybody in the world knows, if something rhymes, it has to be true. Like, for example, if you sub to Kaizen, you'll be... Damn, not a lot of rhymes with Kaizen. Woo, put myself on the spot there. I should have I wrote that down. Should have worked on it. All right. We'll do that one next week. Pretend that I didn't. I'll, I'll edit that out of the YouTube stream. All right. When this uploads to YouTube, just go with this, guys. All right. 
So sorry guys, I don't know what happened there. My video skipped, I think, uh, but we're back now. <laughs> All right, so, um, I'm gonna put that. Oh, that's brilliant. That is why I do this for a living. What am I even trying to do at this stage? I guess I put that there and that there. There we go. Perfection itself. We have a smoking box instead of a campfire. But apparently they'll be safe now. Also, oh, yeah. Did you figure out? Yeah, you don't need glass bottles no more, my friend. Cancel that. Look, you are doing honeycomb. Ha ha. Wait, do I need to redo the hive tool now, maybe? Let me just right click this. Oh, no, it's been removed. Wait, put it back. What I want to see then is do you have... Oh, he's got nine on him now, so it did work. All right. Awesome sauce. <clears throat> True, I should have done that, Miriad. That would have been better. <clears throat> it does also look like a bit of a, yeah, like a, like a beehive that we've made ourselves. If I did it with birch, that would have been the one. Birch trapdoors. There we go, Flux. If you sub to Kaiser, you're going to be rising just in life. That's, that's what it is. Right there. Okay, so B is sorted. Let's go sort inventory as well. Um, thanks to uh, John Lolo and Absolity. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Sound like an Aussie saying absolutely. Anyway, thanks to both of you for the follows. Appreciate that. I'll put that in there. Put these back as well. And then I'm going to check my uh, stream list of things to do on streams. My hive tool, I should go put back in the beehive. We'll do that in a second. This scroll can go in here. And what else? Just a little bit of this to get rid of as well. So get rid of you. Put you up in here. All right, good times. Hey, D, thank you so much. Look at that. Absolutely. Just came in here. He's barely got one foot in the door. His coat is still on. And D has gifted him a sub. Thank you so much, D. 70 total gifted subs. I think that is a record. I'm not 100% because I, I do know Saucy Salad back in the day would have been close to that or somewhere you know in that ballpark, whatever. But either way, it's not a competition. And thank you so, so much for the ones you have gifted. And Myriad Muse gets one as well, 71. Um, you know, why stop at 70, right? When you can have 71. For real, but thank you so much. Welcome to the two new subs. Um, and uh, yeah, the Team Kaiser grows. 125 subscribers. Uh, yeah, I still struggle with it, I, uh, but it's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, we're on 72 now. Oh my goodness. If he carries on like this, uh, then I, my stream will just be this. <laughs> Which, you know, hey, I can, I can live with that. Oh, I need to get this up. Um, if I minimize this, does this... I'll find out in a minute. I just need to get my stream list up a sec, guys. Um, all right, what am I doing here? Da, 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 da. Oh, I need to move the fisherman. I'm actually going to start that going. So I'll show you what I did wrong with the fisherman. All right, so that's good to know. I can actually minimize it without it leaving. But you guys still see what's on screen rather than it's going black, which is a slightly better thing. So yeah, I noticed this recently. Um, oh, Endash as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nah, that's alright. That wasn't too bad. It got me a little bit. It got me a little tiny bit, but not too much. Uh, by the way, I added um, the citizen name thing to stream loots, just so you guys know. We talked about this in the previous stream. Um, so you can now potentially get that as a card. Uh, Richard, deconstruct. You'll see, look, it's one too low. It's down here. The rest of the town is here. So, yeah, we need to change that. Um, yeah, so that's a potential thing for you guys to get. Just so y'all are aware that I do listen to you when you ask me to do things. It sometimes takes three to eight times as long as it should for me to actually get around to doing them, but still. Hello, Vitam Indiana. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another stream. Thanks for being back here. Twitch Mad Lad, indeed, absolutely. Never has a title been more deserved. Well, actually, I should be careful because there are other people that do have it and deserve it too. But you guys know what I'm saying, right? All right I want to recall you. Does the colony have to be all on one level? Absolutely not. No. I just don't like the fact that mine is, apart from that one little, um, you know, fisherman. And it just seems like we should put the effort into that. Okay, here he goes. Oh, Richie boy. So, the thing is, like, basically, if you're on single player, then whatever your uh, view distance is set to here, which is 10 chunks here for me, um, because I'm on the server, which is already on 10 chunks. Basically, that's how far you guys can see and stuff. So... 
On here, we've got a ten trunk radius. We need to be within that distance of this for him to take it down. So the guards are down here having a look at the fishing. Richard is in zero hurry to get to this fisherman. I don't think he wants to take it down. He's he's bored. I'll tell you something though, he works fast nowadays. Um, his stats are pretty insane. So there he goes, athletics is 29, adaptability 34. Those are the two builder stats. You see everything else is really low. It's purely just because he's done so much building that those have gone way, way up, which is awesome. I only remember because I didn't know you could use hashtag. Oh, hashtag D, there you go. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty good. We got a hashtag D for hashtag deserved. Oh yeah, dad joke, thank you. That is how we do it from now on. Hello, Icebeater 3. Um, right now I'm just working on trying to get the fisherman taken down. He's just having a chat with him. He's saying, look mate, I've been commissioned here. I've got to take this down. And he's saying, you're joking. I'm trying to do some fishing. He's saying, yeah, I know, but it's not me. It's Kaizen. He's, he's the boss. He said, you know, we've got to take it down. Cool. Can I just catch this last fish? Uh, no, you can't. And to be honest, I'm going to have to get started soon because I think Kaizen's running out of dialogue here between the two of us. And, uh, you know, he needs me to start taking this down. <laughs> Unsub the left for that joke. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here we go. He has actually taken it down now. Um, I mean, some of my jokes are bad. I didn't know they were that upsetting, but hey, there we go. So, let me see. Is this actually like underway right now? Yeah, I think so. All right, we're going to leave him doing that a second, and I'm going to check my stream list here. Where did I put you? Hello. Let's see what else we want to do. Hmm. Oh, actually, that's a good one. Upgrade the tavern. Because high-level tavern means high level of um, citizens that come through. Um, so we want to do that because like, our citizens have got good stats, but you can actually get way better if you do uh, that. So, yeah. Now, the problem is I've got to stay like, reasonably close to this dude. So I'm trying to think if there's anything around here I could be cracking on with. Um, but I don't know that there is, really. Uh, could be a random question. We haven't done one of those yet. Why not? Okay. Um, what's your favorite thing to do outdoors and indoors? Okay. My favorite thing to do outdoors... Probably... Travel, if that counts. I think that would be good. They do, indeed, absolutely. Yeah, this is... One of the fundamental things about this pack, actually, these guys, they'll build things. What he's doing right now, Richard is one of my builders. You can see he's got a builder's costume on. They'll have different costumes. So like, there's a fisherman. So they'll fish for themselves. They'll mine for themselves. They'll chop wood. Here's my guards right here. That's why they're dressed like this. And also they've got bow and arrows in their inventory. They get sleepy, but a little power nap and they're good to go. Uh, yeah, so it all happens automated. It's awesome. Um, yeah, so he's taking this down right now. And this was already a fisherman of level. Let's check. Level three. There we go. Uh, oh, sold his torch. And then what I can do is get him to replace it and it will still be level three, which is very cool. But what we might do actually is upgrade it to a level four. Um, so that'd be good. I have two couriers. It's weird flex, but okay. Um, I have two couriers now as well. Hey, D, thank you once again. Blue and Bell. Hey, Blue's here in oh, so many streams. That is awesome. You're now part of two guys in Blue. Um, so, you know, emojis for you and Discord things for you as well. Um... There you go. Oh, we have the mine colony thing right there. There we go. That's about the pack. That is a good little um, thing right there. We have to get something for the Spotify playlist soon as well, I reckon. Um, you know, get a, uh, a little command for it so people can find it and stuff. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately, I'm just kind of waiting for him to finish this so I can start building it again. Um, my favorite to do indoor things to do indoors, by the way, is gaming. But I figured you guys would probably know that anyhow. Uh, let's do the next question because we're going to have some time to kill here. Who's famous for their talent but really shouldn't be? I was going to say Kim Kardashian, but she has zero talent, so I guess that doesn't count. Famous for their talent but shouldn't be... Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know that I know the answer to that. I mean, if you're famous for your talent, it's... Pro oh, no. A huge horde of raiders. Oh, dear, dear. Um, this last raid almost killed me as you might have seen if you've watched my combat episode uh we are going to go actually i don't think i include that clip in the end so you might not see All right anyway let's just get some gear here the raids are proving very difficult because um our archers don't seem to want to fight during the raids which is very unhelpful <laughs> for sort of the whole point we got them 
All right, southeast. Where is that? That is actually that might be good because they might now be stuck in the water here. So let's just get down here and see what's going on. Um, oh yeah, actually, you know what, Callie, that's a fair point. I will go grab that. Does it set them on fire though? Because that's one of the good things about my sword. It does set them on fire. What I need to do actually is enchant my sword. Um, what's it called? Im immolation blade. I need to enchant that if we can with things like sharpness, right? And fire damage and stuff like that. So yeah, reading game chat to make iron golems. Ah, yes, that would be a good thing to do too. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it right this second because I don't even know if I have any pumpkin stuff, but yeah, that'd be good for the future. All right, um, 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 well, you should be around here someplace. Let's see. Uh, ha -ha. So southeast is definitely in this direction. They should be coming through this swamp somewhere. Hello, Kala. How are you going today? Welcome back to another stream. Um, why well, am I not seeing any? Maybe they're around here a bit. All right. What was it as well? A huge horde of raiders. Doesn't say mummies, so I'm guessing it's just barbarian raiders. I guess we shall see. Um, hmm. This happens a lot. Maybe I'll just do a little fly over here and just see if we can find something going on. Find any raiders. Yep, there they are. Okay. Um, ouch. Okay, there they are. So we founded them. Um, Alright, come on, don't lag now. Get that elytra thing where it's like, thinks you're still flying. So annoying. So, yeah. Um, they are all kind of stuck over there. Which means we can actually shoot a load of them. Uh, set you guys to follow. Yeah, and then they'll follow me, right? I don't know if that's better or not. I don't know if I want all of my guards following me all the time. That's the only thing. Like... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do, like, some looking into the whole raid process and try and do maybe, like, an entire episode about it. I think it'd be a popular episode to try and give raid tips and tricks. And, yeah, that's that's kind of what I was thinking, but we'll have to see how we go. Right, chiefs are always good to get rid of, right, because they do a lot of damage and stuff, and they're pretty well protected. So, I mean, you see here, when they're coming through this marsh, like, they can't really get anywhere near me when I'm doing this. Well, this sneaky guy here thinks he can. Oh no, I'm stuck in this stuff. I hate this stuff. But this stuff does also slow them down, which is nice. Dude, you're not sinking over there either. Come on now. Now, if I could get rid of the archers, that would probably be a smart thing to do. Uh, because then... See how slow they go through that? I'll, I sort of want to surround my town in water with this stuff on top. If we can pick it up or make it or something. That'd be cool. Rallying banner. Okay, rallying banner. So what does a rallying banner do, please? Um, I'll need to look into it. Calls guards to the banner. Oh, okay. So that would be awesome. That sounds exactly what I need. Then I can just fly, find them, bring the guards over. What I want to do is get the guards up on top of the wall there each time, shooting down, because that's why I wanted archers in the first place. So they can shoot down at the, you know, raiders, right? And then we have to go through um, this process every time. It's taken ages, because they will do it. So, I'll have a look at making up a rallying banner, and if we get another raid this stream, then we'll try it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, proof that I don't read chat as often as I could. If ever proof was needed, which with me, I'm not sure it is. But there we go. Okay. So, we're about halfway through the raid, though, which is good. Um, and they're all still stuck over here. No one's in our town, so that's pretty useful. Um, you know what, maybe I'll do another random question while I'm stood here. Oh, I didn't ask the other one about who's famous for a talent but shouldn't be. Anything, anyone come to mind, guys, when, with that? Like, because like I said, if you're famous for your talent, sure, it's because you're good at it. So why would it be like something you shouldn't be? I don't know. That was a weird one. The green stick allows you to set patrol paths too. Ah, oh, okay. Kanye West, do you reckon? I think he's pretty good. I, I like some of his music. Not necessarily all of it, but, you know, enough of it to say that I'm, I'm a reasonable fan of his. One you got past... Well, one got past you and headed to the town. Really? Oh, we better go check that out. Um, I don't necessarily need any of this stuff, but let's just see. Um, you know, let's just swim underneath here. Um, swim under here because it's fun. 
<laughs> all right let's see uh where we got people here yeah i don't think anyone's going into the town just yet i think we're good northeast you reckon all right i'll have a flight i'll have a check um but i think i think we're good let's see who else is here though um there's some over oh here we oh wow shoot okay uh we might not be as good as i thought but uh yeah okay hey dudes okay they are very fast at this point but hey hopefully they're all here with me i think this is probably just about all of them now oh this does set them on fire anyway like automatically oh hey army thanks for the help thank you thank you all right there's three left apparently so not sure where they are let's just have a look oh there's one up here somewhere i don't know if he's up on the wall or probably down here yeah there he is so and there's another one there so that's two of the final three hey dude the kardashians only way is essex yep all all good choices but they're not really famous for their talent, are they? I mean, the Kardashians don't have a talent. They're just famous because their surname is Kardashian. You know. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But if it was just, like, who's famous, who shouldn't be, then, yeah, definitely Kardashians, top of, like, everyone's list, right? Like, what are you famous for? Like, being famous. That's, like, the extent of it. All right, this is the last dude. He did. He gone. All right, well, as we're here, we'll just collect all this stuff, I suppose. It can be used by our citizens, our archers and things like that. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to go put all this stuff away and then try and find... Oh, that's what I was doing. I was taking down the fisherman. I knew there was something. Um, is being a model having a talent? Hello, Eclipse, and hello, Tapper Bay. Um, I think being a model... I know what you're saying, a lot of it is just like you're good looking and stuff, but I think there is a lot more to it than that as well, it especially depends on the type of model, like for example if you're a fitness model you're going to have to keep yourself in really good shape, be really strict with what you eat, and being strict with what you eat is true of all models, um, so, oh hello, um, <laughs> should have guessed, it's D again, the bad lad D, who's given us up there to tap me, um, thank you so much D, once again, 75 gifted subs is just insane, um, at this rate, I'm just going to have to start streaming like nine hours a day. <laughs> and and then uh, within a year, I think D will have bought me a Ferrari. <laughs> uh, but for real, thank you so much. I do appreciate it very, very much. 75 is insane. We're on 130 subs now as well, which is also insane. Um, so much love. So much love for D, the mad lad. Um, uh, he's, he's online right now as well. There we go. I was going to say, I saw him online earlier. Here he is. Uh, okay, uh, was it? oh yeah, that's it. Alright, I need to go down here. You don't make that much in a year. <laughs> uh, the tap bait, that means you got some emotes. Uh, oh, he's been cracking on with this, that's good. That you can use. You also, if you join my Discord, you'll have a Twitch sub role there. You can use the emotes there and stuff. And you'll have a green name for Twitch sub. So, yeah, things like that. The emotes are the big thing that people seem to sub for on Twitch, I believe. That's what people tell me. Um, yeah, so, yeah, anyway, going back to what you're saying, I get what you're saying about models, like, how much talent is there in doing it and stuff, but I suppose there is some, some talent to it as well. Who knows? I don't want to, you know, be harsh, though. I, I don't know. Who knows? Um, all right, while he's actually taking down the rest of this building, I'm going to have a very short break. I'll be back in a couple, guys. Enjoy your chair stream. Uh, I know that's what you've all been waiting for anyway. <laughs>
All right. Hello, hello. Oh, it's night time. I suppose I'd better sleep. Uh, thanks for the follow there, uh, Tap Bay as well. I see that. Um, yeah, chair used to be a thing. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why that didn't work. Um. <clears throat> Every time I see the chair, the back keeps even more for my 10 pound random office chair. Yeah. I, um. This chair wasn't cheap. It wasn't crazy money either, but I was like. I spend a lot of time here and I get a bad back, so I was like, I better, I better get a good one, right? Uh, and this one is pretty comfy, I have to say. All right, the fisherman's plowing on despite the lack of a fishing hut at the moment. <laughs> gotta, gotta give him kudos for that. Uh, but once this is done, we can actually get it replaced in the right bit. Which is about three quarters way through being done. Should be very nice. So I'm just gonna watch him for a bit because I can't really go too far away. Okay, what are some good and bad things about the education system in your country? Is the next random question. Um, I'll come on to that one in a second, but Kala, I don't know. I reckon you should get it and you can keep using it. Uh, sorry, keep leveling it up and stuff. And then when it's level five, like I've been saving all my Akizik tombs to give it a level five. I'm like, I don't really want like, you know, I'm breaking one or whatever on my tools. But I mean, technically, I suppose it would make your town more efficient early on. Your lower level workers could still use them and stuff. So, yeah. Hello, Emma Brian. Your son's got the expensive computer chair and you get stuck with a dining chair. That sounds like a good mum to me. Kids come first, right? Well, let's let's pay that, Emma. I think, you know, uh, saying that, I, I would be annoyed. <laughs> you gotta, like, put their bedtime earlier, then you get the chair as soon as they go to bed, right? And then you have it from then onwards. <laughs> um, all right, there we go. Just done that. Um, hey, Emma, you're now on to you guys as well. Thanks again to D who um, has gifted 76 subscribers. I'm I'm overwhelmed, but thank you so much and welcome to Team Guys in there, Emma. Um, okay, sorry, I've, I've completely forgot what I was doing there. So I need to build options, pick up you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have mine running. I've, I've got him built, but I, uh, I've kept all the keys at tomes, and then I'll just do that later. So we go in creative mode only to site where we want to build this, right? We don't use it for actually uh, giving us any sort of advantage in, but in the game beyond that. Um, all right, so what I want to do with you is, let's see. First of all, we are sandstone, and I'll see it at level... Five, I suppose. Actually, what was it before? Level three? Let's try and get that right. So, he hasn't taken down this bit of wood from before, which is like the boat. Which is a bit annoying. So, I want that there. We can actually come more this way with it, I think, than what we had before. Get it a bit further away from the guard tower. Um, now, that looks like it's at the right level, doesn't it? You walk along here. Oh, what the heck? My builder better not be dying. He's such a good level. So yeah, that is too low. It needs to be on that level. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, and then we'll have to maybe take some of the stuff down ourselves or whatever. That'll be fine. Oh, but then the water's too high. Oh, is that why we did it? Oh, geez, I hope not. Because then... Oh, it needs to be at that level. Mm, that's annoying. So I've got two options. I rebuild it exactly where it was. Or I build it at this level build it maybe further out here fill that in and then put the water here at a higher level by one I reckon I reckon I'll do that increase the water by one ah oh, screw it let's do it all right this is gonna be a weird one to build we'll see how this goes I don't even know what's gonna happen let's just get over to this uh, build options Richard uh, repair is what we need to hit. So it'll repair it to the same level. Let's just do that for now. He's got all the stuff and stuff. Stuff and stuff? He's got all the stuff he needs to build and stuff, so that's good. Uh, TK means Team Kaizen. Just something you get for being a sub. Um, yes, please do follow. They call him D on Twitch. Um, in fact, I might actually need to do that myself. <laughs> um, but yes, do make sure you do that. Okay, so... Yeah, all right. Just have to follow him for a bit and see what he's doing. He's supposed to have all the materials on him, so I don't know what he's necessarily 
I think you should go back to just build a hut to start it, maybe. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Let's see. When he gets in there, he should hopefully get started. There we go. Um, okay, so apparently he doesn't have everything he needs. So we need to get him some of the stuff. So let's go there. So we need dirt, cactus stairs, torches. All right. Be telling my friends to come and check you out too. Uh, if you mean me, then thank you. If you are referring to D, that's also very cool. Um, okay, so what was it? Tender? No, 26. Let's just grab a load of the stuff. So some dirt. Some cactus stairs. 10 of them, apparently. Uh, can you now get the rounding banner and maybe put the patrol paths? Um, as in, can you do it in the game? Yes. Can I do it right now? Uh, not yet, and the reason being uh, because I'm gonna I'm gonna need to think about this a little bit about how I want them to do it. I also need to build some like ways for them to get up and down the wall, and then I'll probably just have them patrolling the wall. But I'm gonna look at setting up all this stuff with waypoints and stuff as well, and like automating a system with the uh, rail and stuff like that. So I need to have a little think about how I'm gonna do it all. I got I got big plans, right? <laughs> Me. Oh, thank you, Wizard. I really appreciate that. And uh, it's awesome to have you here. Um, obviously, you're one of the newer people, but I recognize you are here a lot since you've found us. And, uh, you know, it's our pleasure to have you, buddy. And thanks for telling your friends. I appreciate that. I really do. That I'm um, per um, tower, not by the banner. I see. Okay. So you get it from the tower? Is that how you get it? Like, if I go into, like, a guard tower... Um. Hmm. Or do you make it? Oh, get guard tool. I'm guessing that's what it is, right? Uh. Huh. Okay. So let's just see where the matey go. Is he? Oh, you craft the banner and you write. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Like you do like a resource scroll. So, wait. Why has he got request? So that might be why he's not coming over here. I really need to get a speed beacon around here as well. Maybe that's where Beetle's beacon can go. Um, cause she gifted me those never stars. She's oh, a never star, I should say, but she's going to get a beacon. Um, oh, here he is. All right. So just your request cancel and then just go and do your works. Actually, we can watch him build for a bit cause we kind of need to be here anyway. Right. But also, uh, I did show it on my, wait, what? Oh, he does that here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I showed up my video earlier, but um, he actually builds really, really quickly now again, cause of his level and look how far away he can start building. He's there building over here. All right, so you can see, look at this. How quick he's placing this stuff. I mean, anyone playing on the server right now with their own builder will be like, yeah, this is fast, right guys? This is this is quick. He is really rinsing through that, which is awesome. So we'll just have a little watch of this for a bit. Do some more random questions. Um, oh, that's right. Uh, there was one a minute ago I didn't answer about the education system. Um, I think the education system here is like it is in England. Um, and what I imagine it's probably like in America. Probably, for the most part, it's pretty good. Um, it teaches you a lot of stuff you need to know, but it probably could be better, right, as well. There's things, there's a lot of things I think you could be taught at school that, you know, don't. Uh, I am right-handed. Very boring, I know. I'm I'm the norm there. Uh, but yeah, right-handed. You want to screw in specy mode? If we're going to watch this, let's enjoy ourselves, right? A little live time-lapse, if there is such a thing. But yes, right-handed. I'm trying to think, I don't think there's much I can do left handed. <laughs> like, I'm pretty much, uh, uh, my, um, I'm not ambidextrous at all. How is my day today? It's been a good day. It's been an interesting day. Um, so I might be setting up a company in the name of Kaizen. Just fun fact, something I, I first considered today. Um, reason being is to do with the intellectual property of the EDM playlist I'm putting together. Um, kind of exciting though to get to a stage where I might be like incorporating a company and having um, you know actual accounts and stuff for the income that I receive from the different platforms be it you know Twitch and YouTube and all that sort of stuff so that's kind of cool there could potentially be some tax benefits as well so I'm gonna be setting up a meeting with someone at... oh oh no he's taking out my wall no okay um, we'll rebuild <laughs> Never mind. Um, might have been on me. Yeah, might have been. But I don't think it was really needed before. But now it's getting to a stage where it kind of might be in the future. 
particularly with holding intellectual property, um, because if you set up a company as opposed to a business, company has a separate legal identity from yourself, which if you ever get sued, it's really, really handy. So it means assets in my name, in real life and stuff, um, cannot get, yeah, you know, they can come after like my car or if I have a house one day or whatever, only whatever the business, the company owns. So yeah, that's the long and short of why I'm looking to do it. Oh, hang on. Let's get into survival mode and have a sleep because he's going to go to bed uh, himself. What? Oh, he's just on his way. It's not night time yet. That's why you have a company. Yeah, it's a smart thing to do. It's not something I've really had to worry about until now. Like, um, but you know, there's potential need for it with the whole intellectual property stuff. So yeah, that was an interesting thing today. I've also been drafting, writing my own legal contract thing for this stuff, which is interesting. Um, I've had the displeasure of having to read a lot of legal contracts in the past. Um, some of you know I do have a bit of a business background, so it's pretty standard that I've had to read all different lease clauses and planning permission things and whatever when I've done stuff in the past. Uh, never enjoyed them all that much, funnily enough. <laughs> um, writing one has not been that fun either, but hey, you know, I love 75% of what I do. I'll take that, right? If you love three quarters of what you do, the other quarter is just the work bit. I think, you can, I think we can handle that. Um, so that's what my day's been. I've been doing that and looking into company setups and I recorded a couple videos today as well, about a video and a half. And now here we are streaming and it's Australia Day. So, woo, happy Australia Day, everybody. Um, oh, and I got my song on Spotify today, which was cool as well. That was that was something that happened this morning. It, like The thing is, I wake up early each day and I go to bed late. And then it's like, by the end of the day, it's like I can barely remember if something happened yesterday or in the morning. But yeah, that was that was good. The fisherman's hut looks awful now. How dare you, dragon? It's not finished. <laughs> It'll be fine, all right? So we're going to make all this here nice and pretty, okay? Um, and we're also going to get the water up to this level so there will not be this awful niagara falls here okay it's gonna be fine trust me i got this all right um actually let's see what uh was he done i'm guessing he's done yeah all the scaffolding's gone and stuff did he come up in chat yeah he's finished it all right so this is uh not looking the best right now it's gonna be fine so let's go grab a load of sand some water buckets and i guess some dirt would be good as well we're gonna fix this all right, I'm going to make the fisherman's hut looking all sexy once again. So, a load of sand, a bit of dirt, and some buckets of water. Uh, duh, duh, duh. So, water, and those three can be water, and that'll be enough. We'll get started on that. Um, Australia Day uh, is basically about separate, um, excuse me, celebrating the independence of australia from the monarchy uh, it became its own you know country in its own right rather than a part of the british empire um, although it is of course still part of the commonwealth and i think to be honest australia day is really more of an individual thing like everybody celebrates different things about it and uh you know for me personally it's just about celebrating living in a fantastic country um and it's a, it's a celebration of Australian culture. And, you know, that's, of course, recognizing the original true Australians, the Aboriginal people of Australia, and celebrating their culture, as well as the more modern sort of Western culture of Australia as well, since it was colonized, of course, by the British, who have, unfortunately, a awful record of, you know, uh, the history over here. There's no sort of getting away from that, and, and it shouldn't be denied or sort of under the carpet of course um but you know now it's about celebrating all the cultures the multicultural society that australia is and you know in many ways australia um in in more recent years you know it has been a progressive country it has been better with multiculturalism and you know things like that i mean it's been more liberal with things like gay marriage and women having the right to vote uh, that happened i think here before anywhere else certainly before england anyway there's all kinds of things. So there's, there's just lots of like different sort of facets of it, I suppose. Um, and beer might be a, a bit of it for some people on me, yes. <laughs> and your name was a £10 pom. That's so cool. Wait, do you live in Australia then, uh, Emma? Is that are you, are you an Aussie yourself? 
Yeah, the 10 pound POMs, for those who don't know, so POM, um, original spell in POHM, Prisoner of Her Majesty, was a term given to the English people by Australians, because a lot of the Australian people who came out here were prisoners, so they said the English are prisoners too, they're just prisoners of Her Majesty. Um, anyway, so that's where POM comes from, but uh, the 10 pound POMs were back in the day um, when we were sending prisoners from the UK over to Australia, we also needed to kind of colonize it and get some population going over here because like basically nobody lived here at that point. And so what they would do is for 10 pounds, you could pay 10 pounds and you could move to Australia. And a lot of people, a lot of English and, and people, uh, so UK people, you know, did that. And so they were the 10 pound poms. They paid their 10 pounds and over they came for a new life in Australia. And they got a lot for it as well. Some of the people who were the original 10 pound poms are now very wealthy family legacies here in Australia because they were trying to encourage people to come over here so much that they would give them loads and loads of land early on, like acres and acres of land. And some of them used that for, you know, wisely for things like farming and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, did very well for themselves. So uh, there you go, a little bit of, little bit of history there about Australia. Okay, so let's see. We're going to get sand down here. And just kind of cover this and then do the water bit. It's going to be a bit of a faff, but yeah, no, it's not too bad. Uh, maybe this bit here we'll just do like this and we'll just keep this going. What I'll do is grab these. You've traveled quite a bit, but where have you actually lived? Well, uh, so I've lived obviously in England. I lived until I was 18. I always lived uh, on the outskirts um, uh, of uh, Plymouth in Devon. So yeah, I lived outside there up on like Dartmoor and stuff like that. Actually, we're gonna need more of this for those bits as well. Let's just go to the forest, cut some of this down. I think this is gonna be the way to do it. I guess we'll find out as we develop it. Um, and then I've lived in Melbourne and I've lived in Perth. Now in Perth, I've lived in all different places. Like I've lived in um, probably Oh, I I'm trying to think like I wouldn't even want to say but close to like 15 to 20 different places here in Perth when I first got here we as a family moved a lot because we kept going to short-term places trying to find somewhere we really like to stay longer term and stuff so it's a bit of a faff but yeah so a few different places um, and and yeah as I said I lived in Melbourne for about four months as well which was cool very cool experience glad that I did it it's a nice city, Melbourne. I've always liked Melbourne from the first time I visited uh, and even living there and stuff. I've always like had a good time there. Um, all right, let's see. You can go up there as well. We're sort of getting there. Maybe this can fill in there. All right, so now we just need to try and figure out a way of doing this bit over here. So maybe like uh, fill some of this in a bit. Start linking up, right? Okay. Oh, there we go. That's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Now we just got to do this corner over here. Parenting win or fail. I bought my one-year-old a cat toy. Now both my daughter and cat are playing with it. Sounds like a win. It sounds like you've killed two birds with one stone there. You've occupied the cat and your daughter. <laughs> That's funny. I love that you thought, hey, this cat toy, this will be good for my daughter. She'll love this. <laughs> she can't read. She can't see that it says it's for cats. It'll be fine. <laughs> but I definitely think that's a whim. Uh, hello, Cyan. Hello, hello. Um, okay, let's put you in there. You up there. We're getting there. Yes, yeah, so this fisherman's going to look fine once it's done. As I say, it was, it was, we had a bit of a... You know, period there. It was looking rubbish. Which Dragon kindly pointed out to us. Um, choice plays with the pet's toys at my in-law's house. <laughs> oh dear. In-laws, eh? You guys know the difference between in-laws and outlaws? Outlaws are wanted. Oh, hey, there we go. I don't even know if that counts as a dad joke. But I bet you someone puts dad joke emoji in chat for that. See, that's the thing now. Anytime I tell a joke, I get dad joke emojis put at me, even if it's not a dad joke. I'm just like, even if I tell a good joke, it'll still be a dad joke emoji. <laughs> but that's fine. You know, I've, I've made... Uh, oh, 
So it's done. Yeah, I've set myself up for that one. <laughs> Counts as a dad joke. That's fine. You guys can have it as a dad joke. That one, that one went down better than most of my jokes. I'll take that. <laughs> you can call it what you want if, you, if it's uh, well received. Okay, so I think this looks all right now. Well, actually, okay. So although this is like <laughs> a problem, I don't want to change this until we've got the fisherman upgraded to level five, uh, because every time we upgrade it, he's just going to take it back down anyway. Let's see. Actually, what would it take to get this up to level five? I mean, like build options for the next level. Uh, let's just do it, guys. Let's just upgrade it. Um, wait. Cancel the upgrade. I want to just make sure that um, Rich is doing it. Yeah, we're just we're just going to do this. I think if you guys are cool with that, I want to I want to get this done up to level five, and then we'll fix the wall, and that whole area will be done. Because eventually, I'm hoping I'm going to have everything up to level five one day in the series, right? So everything will be uh, at that level. So let's go take care of this. Alrighty, uh, I guess I'll clear my inventory first. I've got tons of stuff here I don't need. Oh, steak. I don't know how you ended up there, but uh, we'll have you. Let's just put this back and that back. Hey, Steph. Hello, Cinder. You missed uh, you missed the dad joke, Cinder. I know you'll be disappointed about that. There was some de debate about whether it was a dad joke or not, but it was a good dad joke. So, so it's it's good times here. Wait, why, why do you keep saying General Kenobi? Am I missing something? I don't know what's happening. Uh, alrighty, let's put that in there. And then just see what else we need, I guess. Um, I should have guessed it was D again. And uh, Cinder, you're part of Team Kaizen. Big thank you to D from you. Uh, welcome to Team Kaizen. And thank you so much, D, once again. 77, the magic number. You are on now, which is so, so cool. Thank you so much, man. I do really appreciate it. I, I really do. Um, we're on 78 before I've even thanked him for 77. Um, to Steph, triple seven. Congrats, Steph, as well. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, again, D, and, and welcome, Steph and Cinder now to Team Kaizen, which is uh, growing quickly uh, because of D. D, the mad lad. <laughs> and he really is a mad lad. Um, I have seen Star Wars, but and I know that General Kenobi is from Star Wars. I don't really know what he does on there. I'm um, guessing he's like a, you know, army person, right? Is that... I should shut up. Uh, anyway, um, but I don't know why Haley just keeps saying General Kenobi. Like, you know, if she kept saying Shrek, I've seen Shrek a hundred times. I'd still be like, why do you keep saying Shrek, right? I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, 32 of you, so I think this is going to equate to that, right? Oh no, I did it wrong. I'm a pleb. All right, so that's 32. So put these back in here. I think that's, I think that's it. We'll check. All right, so another 33 cut sandstone. Wait, what? So that and that. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know what's happening anymore. Whatever. So you go in there. Uh, was it five chests? No, three chests. And two glass panes. Uh, da -da -da -da. Chests are in here. Three. Kenobi says hello there. Uh, okay, I should stop digging. Yeah, I knew that. Um, yeah, this could be fun, maybe. Uh, I don't know, is this fun or not? You guys can tell me. You can just chuck out Star Wars character names and I'll try and guess what they do in Star Wars. <laughs> and we'll see, see how wrong I can get it. I'm sure you guys will catch me out a lot. Because I do know some Star Wars characters, I think. Because like, all right, I haven't seen Star Wars, but it's such a big part of culture that you can't not know things like Oh, Luke, I am your father and all that sort of stuff, right? So I know, like, bits and pieces. Oh, how come, Cinder? What, what's uh, what's happening to you? We'll miss you. We're sad too now. 28 of these. And four ladders, 13 white floating carpets. Um, let's skip 13 of these. And 13 of the strings. Okay, I've got my build tool on me, I do. So all of that good stuff. And what else? Four ladders. Alright, let's see. Four ladders. Da -da -da. One, two, three, four. Who is the character Yaddle? Yaddle? Um He is the guy that is half a Yodel. Yaddle, eh? <laughs> right. That's the sim. <laughs> Who's Yaddle? Uh, I don't know. Yaddle is 
a weird looking ugly creature probably because there's a lot of them in star wars and you know he um he's an enemy right it's that he's a bad guy right all right let's put that um you sent me what it is in discord i better check oh if you mean yoda i know who yoda is he's the little dude um Oh, okay, Haley. I'll check that out uh, later on. Thanking you. And uh, here's a she. Oh, Yaddle's a she. Yaddle, Yaddle, Yaddle's a she. Uh, okay, what? Who is Bib Fortuna? Uh, he's the one who wears a lucky bib that catches all of his food when he spills it whilst eating. And uh, the food turns into gold. That's why it's the lucky bib. That's definitely who he is. I've seen that movie. I'm pretty sure that's the one I have seen. Um, <laughs> I'm not cheering, I'm not cheering. Almost, it's the female equivalent of Yoda. Oh, really? <laughs> lucky Bib. What else could it be? Bib Fortuna, that's Latin for Lucky Bib, right? I'm pretty sure. If my, um, I, do you know I actually had to study Latin for, a, what, about, blimey, three or four years I had to study Latin when I was at school? Yeah. Um, so the female equivalent of Yoda, so he's not evil, at, uh, she's not evil at all then. I should have got that, right? Yoda, Yaddle. I love the way like, you guys didn't go, like, who's Darth Vader or something. No, you went with, like, Yaddle and Bib Fortuna. I mean, you could have, like... Yeah, in fact, I'm just looking for a chat. Chicklet's, like, um, called it there. You gave me such a hard one to start. For a guy that you know has never seen Star Wars, you just go straight in there with the big guns. That was mean, chat. There was no need for that. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. I see how it is. I should get out of the way, actually. Anakin Skywalker. Oh. Anakin Skywalker. I've heard that name. Um, Anakin Skywalker. Is he the one... Does he have something to do with... Luke be a Jedi tonight? That song or whatever. Is he Luke Skywalker's brother or something? Or is Skywalker, like, a thing? Is it, like, a surname? Or is it just... That's an easy one. I feel like I've really really messed that up what did I, you came back to me trying to guess um <laughs> star wars characters and what they do um sorry kafluffle i'm sorry general jervius that's ricky gervais's brother uh he uh he plays the comedian of the group and uh that's that's definitely what he must be doing general jervius um i reckon he's the leader of some sort of Mute, not mutant, but like weird animal armies. Oh, I know Jar Jar Binks. Finally, one that I know. Well, when I say I know, I know what he looks like. And isn't he like? Don't people find him annoying or they hate him or something? Isn't there a thing about Jar Jar Binks? Um, and oh, is there like a twist or something where he betrays the good guys? Like you think he's a good guy and he's not or something? Um, but like, I know what he looks like at least. So he's like a weird character thing. So yeah. Um, Okay, next up was Ki, Ki Adi Mundi. Uh, Ki Adi Mundi. Ki Adi Mundi. Ki Adi Mundi. I I don't know who. Ki, is it Kai Adi Mundi? Kai 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 Adi Mundi. Um, he's the guy that hates Mondays. That's 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 him. <laughs> what else have we got? Here? Earth. Oh, Darth Maul. Oh, is he the red dude with a double edge red lightsaber? And he's got like horns in his head and stuff. Is that him? Is that who Darth Maul is? That might be it. I think I might know Darth Maul. Would so be the bloke who watches the whole series and decides his favorite episode. Wait, what? Kaizen would so be the bloke who watches the Who series and decides his favorite is episode one. I don't know what that means. Thrawn. Is Thrawn a character? Thrawn. What would Thrawn be? Hey, here we go, Fisherman. Celebrations! Woo woo! Um, so why why is liking episode one? Is that like blasphemous amongst the Star Wars community? Right, anything here? No, nah, nothing gonna cause us problems. Richard, upgrade my friend. We're gonna have a full uh, Fisherman's Hut here, level five. Thrawn's a bit deep, so I'm not gonna know who Thrawn is. Hey, look, our fisherman's hut has a boat now, like an actual boat. 
That's pretty cool, right? So you can actually go out on his boat and fish, I suppose. Darth Plagueis the Wise. Are you just making stuff up now? <laughs> Is it, have any of these even been real? <laughs> I've recognized a couple. I'm like, I shouldn't have asked for this. You guys are just making anything up, I reckon. Um, no, that's real. Okay. Darth Plagueis the Wise. He is the Victorian doctor that they froze, and he's wise because he knows all about plagues, and he stops plagues from spreading throughout the galaxy that is, of course, far, far away. Do I get credit for knowing a little bit about that? Um, you won't know Thrawn if you don't watch the animated series. I haven't even seen the real series. Never mind the animated series. Like, if you guys start putting in characters from Star Wars spin-offs, then we're, we're going to struggle. I, I, I don't know the main ones, so that's that's not going to happen at all. <laughs> uh, he didn't know the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Darth Malgus. Now let's see if you know the legends. Darth Malgus. Not a clue. I couldn't even think of a joke for that one. <laughs> Darth Malgus. Uh, no, not sure. I don't know why I started this. I knew I was going to get like zero. Um, Especially, I mean, if I predicted just how mean you guys were going to be with some of these, then 100% for the zero. But even with some of the easier ones, yeah, I'm not very good, I'm afraid. It's not my uh, not my thing. All right, Glitter, well, thank you. Admiral Akbar. Oh, I've actually heard of that one. Isn't he something to do with... Um, someone does a, a deal with him, they go to him, and they ask him for a deal, and they have to pay him or something. I'm like... Is that even close? Oh boy. See, this is proof I haven't watched the movies, right? Like I literally know nothing about them. It's a trap. Yeah, see, I've seen the Family Guy spin-offs, right? And I think that's where I'm picturing Admiral Akbar from, but I don't know if I'm right about the whole deal thing. Um, yeah, so I have seen the Family Guy spin-offs. I don't know if that gives me any sort of Credibility. It just I still don't know any of the characters. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, let's get a wrestling bag. Uncle Ben. He's the one who does rice, doesn't he? What are we talking about Uncle Ben for? He does like pasta sauce and stuff, doesn't he? Uh, put that in there. So we need two of those. And a load of this. And what else? Two daylight detectors. That's cool. They're going to go on top of the redstone lamps. So that's good. Uncle Ben is a good one. Uh, so he's an actual Star Wars character called Uncle Ben. He's... Hmm. We're not talking about Uncle Ben's ready rice. <laughs> that's the only Uncle Ben I know. Uh, 33 white floating carpet. So 32. Oh. Need some more. R2-D2 is the bin on wheels that is also a bit of a robot that does a lot of beep boopy, right? And, um, yes, I do know R2-D2. Thank goodness I know someone. All right, so, let's see. Where I am from, we have a rice called Uncle Ben's. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's the only thing that came to mind. I think Uncle Ben's has become, like, an international brand of, like, rice and stuff, so... But, I'm, but that was not... Um, yes, I did get one! Way. R2-D2. I also know C-3PO. Ask me who he is. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know a couple. See, there's, there's, there's a little bit of uh, Star Wars knowledge here. IG-11. I don't know, it sounds like one of the spaceships. No clue who that one would be. Uh, oh, a Shocker Tano. That's what a lot of girls in Essex get, isn't it? A Shocking Tan. <laughs> R3-D3. That's R2-D2's brother, right? It's gotta be. It's, it's definitely his, or his cousin, maybe. They're related somewhere on the line. Or the version up, the new model. That episode 19 or whatever. You know, Ben Kenobi gets an update or whatever it is. When he gets the R2-D2, gets the R2-D3. That's That's gotta be it. All right, let's see. Daylight sensors, a couple of you. There we go. All right, so I think it's everything. Yep. R4D5. He's the weird uncle of the family that no one ever talks about. <laughs> Best dream ever. 
I mean, you didn't get Anakin Skywalker, so all hope's been lost. Who's the main character in Star Wars? It's, does it follow a main character or is it characters? Um, captain Antilles. Um, he's the captain of the Antita world. He is the leader of their world. And um, he falls in love with Princess Leia because she's the only woman in the universe. And she doesn't like him because she's like, you're an Antita. And I'm not into that. I'm not down. Uh, Jin Erso. Jin Erso. Um, Jin Erso. Um, I don't know. Sounds like I'm picturing a female holding a lightsaber with that one. But I <laughs> could be for R6D9. R6D9 is R2D2's son's best friend at school. And he's really good at chess, even though he's got his little stumpy hands. K2SO is the name of one of the TIE Fighters. Hey, I know what a TIE Fighter is. Do I get like, bonus points for that? You could argue the main character is Anakin Skywalker for the six movies. Oh, Boba Fett. Everyone talks about Boba Fett. I should really know who he is. I don't know what he is, though. Or who he is or whatever. Um, Boba Fett. Is he... Do people like Boba Fett, do we like him? Do we dislike him? Is he... I feel like I've heard people talk about him a lot, and I feel like it may not always... Well, Django, it must be Boba's brother, right? Come on. Right, so there's like different characters, different main characters in each movie. Okay. That's fair. Rose. Is there a character called Rose? All these weird names and then just Rose. Um, I reckon Rose is like the kitchen hand in one of the spaceships, one of the big spaceships. Maybe in the... Oh, have you guys seen... Eddie Izzard, um, his Lego animation, Eddie Izzard of the the Death um, the Death Star kitchen. If you haven't, and as there's clearly a lot of Star Wars fans here, please check it out. It is. Oh wait, I right. I, disclaimer: I don't know if it's PG. So if you're not old enough or whatever, be careful. Don't watch it if you're not. If you're an adult and you like it, there's a lot of adults here as well. Do check it out. It's hilarious. It's so good. Um, yeah. Do you want to explain it or us just throw around random names? You can explain if you like. I mean, yeah, your random names, are, I'm probably not going to get them. Um, I'm not fat is a good character. I'm not fat. What? Oh, here we go. Uh, so, level five fisherman, guys. We have it. Yay. So that's done. Um, I don't know why a fisherman's gone. Maybe he just got out of the way for the building works. Let's recall him a second. Oh, did he die? Hold on. I don't think he died. Because they didn't even mourn or anything. Well, why is he not here? This is weird. Taxi for guys. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, Jake. She's such a trash character, you know? That's what I was saying. It's just like... That was my point entirely. Alright, let's just re keep recalling... Why is he not coming back then? Omi was sliced and diced by a barbarian. That is barbaric. Um, we might need a new fisherman. Wait, hold on. Manage workers. We don't have a worker. Hmm. Cameron, you're now the worker. Wait, you were before, weren't you? Yeah, he's got his inventory full of fish. <gasps> Do we lose our inventory? Wait. Did you? Oh my god, he had so many fishing rolls. We better not have lost all them. I'm going to check the builder's hut and see if they've gone in there or something. Tyson's Lord Dub. That'd be a weird episode because I know nothing. Um, yeah, we're literally just talking about um, Star Wars. If this, if I end up uploading this to uh, YouTube, they'll be like, what is going on? Um, good job I now have it where you can see the chat because I didn't used to have that and that would have been weird. Oh, I made so many fishing rods. I think they've all been lost. That's annoying. The Raiders are very quick and they're very difficult to fight, unfortunately. Um... Unless they're all in one of these. Blimey, he's got some storage space, doesn't he? I mean, that's good, I suppose. Oh, actually, there is another place they could have ended up, which is in the storage room, the warehouse. We'll check that. So Boba Fett is Django Fett's clone without Grow Fastener. Without what? Uh, Django is also the original donor to the clone army. Isn't there a Star Wars Attack of the Clones or something? Is that what that storyline is then? Um, okay, what? 
Oh, we're looking for fishing rods. Here they all are. Told you I gave them a lot of fishing rods. So this was just... Oh, no. Didn't want to do that. This is the uh, couriers. Obviously picked them all up and brought them over here for reasons best known to herself. Um, or his self. I, I think we got a female and a male. I don't know. George presumably hates everything about 7-9. Wait. I, all right, I'm lost in this conversation now, unsurprisingly. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is give you a few more of these, and then put all the rest in here for you, mate. And then you can fish until your little heart's content. There we go. And it's now at least at the right level as well. So, pretty cool. So I like the way they do this on a lot of the buildings around here. They have these daylight sensors, so as soon as it sounds night time, they'll turn on, which is pretty cool. Okay, cool. Alrighty, let's see. Um, one of the other things I wanted to do actually was to upgrade my storage room um, or my warehouse. So for each level of warehouse, I believe you can have two couriers working for you. So I've got two couriers right now. I think this is still a level one warehouse though. So if we upgrade it, uh, yeah. So let's see, build options. Yeah, it needs some stuff, but nothing that should be too difficult for us. How many racks extra do we get? 20, that's actually really good. So we have 20 extra racks of storage space, which is basically 20 extra chests of storage space, right? So this is quite a lot. Um, all right, let's go. And yeah, someone said me recently about Star Wars that like he filmed them out of order because he wanted um, to wait for better special effects to be ready for episodes one through three or something. And people were apparently like, yeah, he shouldn't have, he should have waited longer. He do not Oh, excuse me. He didn't wait long enough, apparently. I don't know. Anyway, chat's happy. We're talking Star Wars. <laughs> just kept you guys occupied. <laughs> I'm just sat here like a complete observer, knowing zero about what's going on. But that's all right. It's fun times. All right, so let's put you back. We need you... And a bit of you, I suppose. Yawn count's getting up. Yeah, I'm, I'm yawning, so I'm, I'm pretty sleepy tonight, actually. I don't know why. I think it's just been a busy day. All right, let's see. Glass panes time eight. Like seven, eight. Um, they, <laughs> they call him D. Has gifted another sub. This time to Kefluffle. Thank you again, D, so, so much. Um, welcome, Kefluffle, to... Team Kaizen, uh, courtesy of D. <laughs> um, appreciate that. That's now 79 gifted subs, which is just very, very cool of you, D. And uh, yeah, I don't I don't really know what to say anymore when this happens. I feel like I, I repeat myself each time, but I'm like, I don't know what else to do. So I just awkwardly say thank you. <laughs> I think that's okay. Um, all right, light blue floating carpet. Um, we don't have many. Oh, this blue. Uh, 89, 20 was it? 28. Oh, I don't even have enough. Um, just need like a little bit more. And some string. So this warehouse will be quite a big build come the end. This is already a reasonable size upgrade. So we're gonna have like tons of uh, storage in there by the end, which is obviously good. And also very necessary because you can only have one per town uh, by default. You can change that in configs, but yeah, I think it's just gonna get difficult at that point. So 17, 20. No! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Alright, that one did get me. <laughs> Come on, then. Who was that? Who did that one? Oh, boy. Alright, 40. <laughs> you should sell your wool to other people on the server. Yeah, other people on the server are welcome to come and have some wool. That's fine. I give people things. I'm, I'm reasonably nice on here. I try to be, right? Um, Chicklet, D uh, might well be trying to do that. Yes, can neither confirm nor deny. Uh, you'll have to ask D about that one, but yeah, could well be. You almost dropped your Red Bull. I love the way we're all in this together. It's not just me that gets scared, it's all of us. That, that at least is something. All right, let's, uh, let's upload these to this dude. And, yep, he has everything and also Oh, I don't know where he's gone. Hold on. I can see him wandering off. Uh, here he goes. You're walking along the rail, dude. Just use the rail. That's what it's there for. Just cancel that request because he's got everything, right? All 
Alrighty then. Spooky cave sounds. Random spooky cave sounds. Look at that. He gets on there. I love that they get on just for this little bit. Because <laughs> it's not connected up yet. Look, he's going back. He just gets on for that. And yet a minute ago, he ran the length of that rail. What a pleb. What a prize pleb he really is. Oh, Tavern, I want to upgrade you as well. Um, let's see about build options here. What do you need? Uh, nothing too crazy, right? Some barrels, a wall, lots of carpet. I mean, I don't know why it needs so much. It, uh, I remember seeing this at level three, which is the maximum. It doesn't even look that good. Um, oh, it, there, there is that, right? I mean, that's why you're saying that. Um, all right, Omi, can you just do put the loots link in chat, please? And I'll click on it and go see who did it. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, you could just add nice ones if you want, Haley, instead of being like what I've done and adding the not so nice ones, right? But yeah, that's um, that might be a better way to do it. No worries, D. Thank you so much, man, for coming and giving me so much support again. Best of luck with your work. Um, and uh, yeah, always amazing to have you here, man. I really appreciate the support. I hope you have a great day with whatever else you're, uh, you're getting on with. But the random voice chat again. Oh, can I see what this? Omi says Kaizen smells bad. Thank you so much, Omi. See, I at least now have it set where I can actually read stuff like this when it's put on. All right, so I go up here. What do I go on to? Um, actually, I don't know if it's on my public page or not. Probably not, right? So I can go to dashboard, maybe. Does it say? Hmm. I'm not actually sure on me where I go to see who's like done this. Um, where do I go here? Sorry, I'm just trying to see the. Alerts and goals. Go to alerts, maybe. No, that's actually not it either. Hmm, might need to check this out another time because I'm really not sure what I'm doing here. Um. Yeah, thanks for the cards. It smells bad. Uh, oh, someone else just bought some cards though. That's what that thing needs. Um, D just bought a pack. <laughs> He's leaving, but he bought a pack anyway. I guess Omi for next time. underscore streams would like to have a sign with their name in it. Hey, okay, Omi. Uh, well, you already have a sign with your name on it, so I'm going to have to find a new place for it. But I can do that for you. Wait, what? Who's doing unnecessary micromanaging me? Um, and that one didn't scare me. I don't always get scared. That's not the scariest one. The other ones are way worse. It's so sharp and sudden. That one just like comes on a little bit slow. Oh, rankings. All right. Thank you, peoples. Uh, let's see. Rankings. There's rankings. Um, okay. Here we go. Top users playing cards is Omi right now. Five cards played. I'm guessing that's in this stream. Is that how that works? Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, oh, this time make it little fan. Oh, we can do that. That's a good idea. Uh, seeing as you already have one as well, that is a very good idea. All right, so let's... Duh, 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 duh. So little fan is Omi's daughter who sits in and watches the stream sometimes with Omi. And she's only like two years old. And she's my littlest fan. That's the name. And so that's who we're doing this one for. <laughs> so let's see a little white thing. Is she there with you at the moment, Omi? Is she going to see her sign? Or are we going to show her later? <laughs> I like I like to give him things, alright? I get teased about this so much, particularly by Splash, who just like is like you don't play modded, you just you play like weirdly. I, I, it's okay, it's all part of my style, alright? Alright, she is there. Okay, well then this is a little shout out to Little Fan. So Little Fan, if you're watching, this one's for you. We're gonna add your sign to the town hall. It's the best place in the town. Here we go, little fan. There you go. There's your sign, little fan. Thank you for your support. Love having you watching me. <laughs> Tiny Omi. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, sorry, Kefluff, I missed that. But thanks for coming along, and I will see you in the next one, buddy. Um, enjoy your work, or be productive at least, or something. I don't know. <laughs> I know not everyone enjoys work, so maybe not enjoy it, but just do it, I guess. <laughs> All right, what am I doing here? Uh, I need to go to... What was this building? Oh, this is the sawmill. It's such a rubbish building. I do nothing with that. It's not a rubbish building. I just don't do much with it, to be fair. Again, I'm not the best at actually playing modded. I just get all my own things. All right, what's he up to? Oh, there's like a whole new section here. That's so cool, look at it. So before we just had this, now we have this whole new section. That's really nice. And then, it's like he's building a bit of a roof up there. Maybe eventually this will be multi-level and stuff. Yeah, look, eventually you'll go up on a ladder and there'll be more. Oh, that's gonna be so good when that's happening. I'm liking that. Um, Alright, so while he's doing that, um, there's not much we can really do other than wait. Hmm. Well, wait we shall. That's what I love about Minecraft as well, Chipper. It's a very, very true. Um, okay, let's see here. Dun, bah, bah, bah. When was the last time you had a food fight? <laughs> is uh, a question there. I mean, a long, 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 long time ago. Because um, obviously you do them like when you're kids and stuff sometimes. Probably be at, like a kid's party when I was much younger. But you know, I'm English as well, right? English people don't food fight. We're, we're too reserved for food fights. We're too too proper for all of that. I'll have you know. Um, so yeah, probably like a really, really long time ago. You've never had one. Honestly, you haven't missed much. Food is way better to eat than to fight with. <laughs> hey, Ash, how you go? <sighs> you know, Cappy, I think you just need to change your Twitch name to Ash. <laughs> I think it's about time, right? This might need to happen. Uh, oh, he's taking this down. So it's, oh, it's actually not two sections, it's like a bigger room, but that's still very cool. And there's already an upstairs. I'm guessing there's nothing up here yet. Not really, just like a rooftop thing. Oh, it's still kind of cool. So there we go, level two of that. All right, now we want to do the tavern. That was something else I wanted to do. Might see if I can do it, yeah. I reckon, I reckon you should. Um, right, so Richard, upgrade. It's like, I know you like to be called Ash, so I always say hi, Ash, but I'm always like, no one's gonna know why I'm saying that. Although you're here quite a lot, so like the regs will know. Food fight is a waste, that's, that's absolutely right. Um, actually, I want to get Richard recalled so I can see what they need uh, to build this before we actually build it, right? So, put him in there. We'll start on this pretty soon. There we go. Now we got a list of everything needed. Uh, huh, okay. Have a food fight with my mouth. <laughs> Just like catching the food that people throw at you in your mouth and be like, haha, I'm winning. That's, that's a fair way of doing that, I'd say. Alright, barrels. Let's start with them. Vertical barrels times five means um, I'll just wooden planks. Okay, I didn't notice that simple to do. Um, so some of you, some of you. One, two, three, four, five. Put that stuff back. Nine cactus fence. Okay, um, we'll probably need some of those. Let's just put them back for now. Um, two planks, three stairs. Okay, so two planks. Uh, three stairs, uh, 64 sandstone wall, 28 lanterns. So 64 of you. Now lanterns, I think we have lanterns, let's see. Um, 28. 28. And then 40 green floating carpet, which we might have. Um, let's see. Well, that's 23. Uh, so what do we need, like another 17? And then a little string. Okay, so 17 more of you. Okay, and then we'll put you back as well. And yeah, looks like that's everything. So let's go give that to the builder. Oh, um, oh no, that's right, yep, okay. Ch -ch -ch. 
So, there might be a little Easter egg coming up in this episode. And if you spot it, you might get something for it. In game, something in game. Like a, well, I'm not gonna tell you too much. So we'll see if anyone spots it. Now I will say this Easter egg has happened in game. Um, it's gonna happen again soon, but it's happened in game already about five times. This will probably be the fifth time, I think. And no one's noticed. <laughs> Which is pretty much what I expected, but that's why I'm bringing people's attention to it a little bit more now. So, yeah, just, just putting out there. Things might happen, right? So, with that in mind, <laughs> we're going to go over to the tavern. And I just want to see here if anything's happening. Um, and just kind of watch this being built. Because I think it doesn't change much. I remember being quite underwhelmed when we first built this. And I looked at the difference between like a level 1 and a level 3. I was like, hmm, there's not much difference. So, yeah, well, there goes Richard. All right. Let us see what's happening, old Richie boy. Um, are you seriously about to run home again? Did nothing. Actually, while we're here at the uni, I do want to check something as well. Uh, let's go in through here. Just see if there's anything we could be researching right now. I don't think there is, but I just want to check. It's on my to-do list to upgrade the uni. Uh, looks like new on there. It's technology, maybe? Um, so we're going to need the stonemason. Oh, the sawmill. So I'm not worried about doing this one, but we just as well do it. And blacksmith we don't have. Smeltery level 3 we don't have. So, bl so blacksmith and smeltery upgrades and stonemason and stuff are good uh, to do soon. But let's go get 32 paper and just get that one done. Because, I mean, eventually as well, I want to unlock all research. I want to, like, try to basically complete this. Hey, there you go, Haley. Haley spotted it, guys. I've been playing this every now and again. I've just been adding it to the queue for my playlist. So this background right now is my Spotify song. My first one, Stratosphere Sunsets. Um, it's sort of demo, but it will be part of the final thing. Uh, you should have said earlier, Haley, but you still said. So uh, I'm going to give you I'm gonna give you a cue for saying. All right, there you go. Right there, is that, is this, I need to kind of see, I don't even know if this is, could be seen on camera right now or not. Um, there we go. Basically, if you notice the song, I'm going to name a citizen after you. There we go. <laughs> so, I'm putting that back in there. But, we're going to go name someone Haley, And I think we had a Haley once before who died. And then, I don't remember if we ever got one back or not. Sorry, little ninja Emma, but uh, Haley's beating you to it. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to plug it in every now and again. And um, I think it fits in quite well with, like, the other playlist that you, we've been listening to. And the good thing about that is the playlist we're currently listening to is very successful on Spotify. So if mine was to do literally about 1% of what the current really good one's done, then I'd be happy. So, you know, if it's a similar standard, and I, in my opinion it is at the moment, um, then I think we'll, we'll be good. Thank you very much, Wizard. I, I was, I'm very happy with it myself, I have to say. I think it's it's like good quality, right? I think it's up there. Like it's um it's about the right level in my opinion of what it needs to be for people to have that in the background of their, their streams and stuff. So yeah, exciting time. Z exciting times. Alright, so I need me a name tag, and we have someone who does them for 15. Here he is. That was so lucky, I honestly didn't know that he was the one. Oh, wait, you. Why did I take a book with me? I didn't need the book. Uh, okay, let's go back to storage. And let's put the book away. All right, Haley, what job would you like to have in the town? Because we've got a lot of uh, citizens now. I think we've got like over 50. Thank you so much, Haley. I appreciate that. Um, anyone who uh, uses my playlist, I will really appreciate it. Um, I do get, obviously, a, a kickback every time you use Spotify or something similar to play my playlist. Um, so Emma and Haley, you said you both can use it. Is Spotify a good platform for you? What's your feedback on that? Um, when I say I get a kickback, by the way, I'm talking a third of a cent per play. So, yeah. <laughs> it's nothing super excited or anything when I say that, but... Hey, there we go. Um, 
thank you wizard that's awesome um, glad that's good. Spotify is perfect. Good. Spotify is the main one I want to be pushing it on. So Spotify, if that works for you, is great. I think Spotify is going to be the one that's going to work best for most people as well. So I think it's going to work well that that's where I kind of want it to go. Um, I appreciate that, Wizard. I really do. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and get out there as much as I can. And um, oh, the tavern is way better. I must have missed seen it at the future levels. Look at that. It's got a second level. Um... If I left the place on mute overnight, would you make monies? I mean, I would. It's not. I don't have a playlist yet. I just have this one song. But basically, um, for so I get the way Spotify works. You get a third of a cent per play. Um, now this it doesn't matter. If I was Jay Z, I wouldn't get much more than that. I'm sure people like that can negotiate better deals. But for someone like me, for any new artist and whatever, it's a third of a cent per play. So I mean, if you left on overnight, I mean, if you can play. If it was two minute songs, that would mean that every six minutes I'd get a cent. So every 60 minutes I'd get 10 cents. So if you did it for 10 hours, I'd get a dollar. Maybe. Might be less. So, yeah. <laughs> so I would get money from it though, if you did that, I suppose. Yeah, exactly, Wizards. So, I mean, I'm going to be promoting this. I'm going to be trying to get it out there to a lot of streamers. Um, I mean, there's, there's two sides to this. There's the side that hopefully this could be another form of income for me um to try and get me to the level i need to be to like do all of this stuff like properly full-time uh you know actually earning a full-time income from stuff and the other side of it is just providing a good service to streamers content creators and stuff because i hate the fact the way the copyright industry works i mean i've been saying this for a long long time so you guys who know me will know this um put you as a cook i will find the cook actually yeah because you you can do a bakery right here this is perfect um hello oh my goodness hey hey ab hi abby not sure if that's correct uh hi abby hi abby anyway thank you for the follow hi i'll call you hi uh i appreciate the follow but yeah so there's two sides to this so i'm hoping to have like a decent thing as well for people to listen to and stuff right so i think melanie you're a cook right yeah so melanie you're loyal Hayley, <laughs> there you go Hayley, you're a cook, um, for spotting that. Buy yourself a box of Star Wars, yeah, that'll be the dream. <laughs> and then next time we do the Star Wars quiz, I'll actually know what is going on. Um, Alright, let me check my little stream list here again, because I'm like trying to keep going through the things that I know I need to like be happening. Um, okay, so I've done a lot of stuff actually. This is this is pretty good. Welcome back, Omi. Welcome back to you. Hmm. There's actually not too much more I wanted to do in today's stream. So I'm actually getting a bit tired and stuff. I think I'm probably gonna leave it there, guys. Uh, is anyone? I don't think anyone else is streaming like Omi or whatever right now, where I could like um, actually, you know, raid you, peoples. Yeah, it would require me to actually watch them. That's true. Um, you know, sometimes people who may or may not be Haley may or may not have sent me DVDs that I may or may not have watched yet. But, yeah. I will. I will watch it. Just, um, you know, some point. Um, anyway, so... Thanks to everyone who came along today. Thank you. Uh, I think D's gone, but still, we'll just give him a shout out again. And say thank you so much for the crazy, um, you know, support with with all the gifted subscribers and stuff like that that you've given to my channel. I just, yeah, really appreciate that. Um, thanks for the feedback on the songs and stuff, guys. And yeah, the playlist is going to be coming soon. I'm hoping that within the next few days to a week, like I can commission the full playlist to be made. Um, it's going to be a big investment, but I think I think we're going to be going for it. I think we'll be going like when, when I say going for it, like once we say yes, it's really going to be pushing ahead, and then that playlist will be full, and you guys will have music that you can listen to um, if you want to. Um, send me the playlist link. I don't, I don't really have one yet, Omics. It's just that single, Stratosphere Sunsets. So um, yeah, the link to that was already in the Discord in the announcement section anyway. So that's all I've really got for a minute, but you can check that out. If you like. Anyway, uh, thank you all for coming to the stream. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm doing the um, 20 second Omi goodbye thing. Um, thank you, Ash. <laughs> um, it is another Kaizen journey. Yes, indeed. It feels like a journey, this one. It feels like I'm on the start of a long process. And 
Yeah, the difference, like, in the past, when I've done YouTube or Twitch or whatever, there's not been any real significant investment on my part to do it. Um, whereas this is different. This is, there's going to be quite a significant investment going into this. Which is fine, because there's earning potential from it, and hopefully I'll at least be able to get my money back on it one day. But when you're talking a third of a cent per play, it is a bit scary to think how many plays I'm going to need. <laughs> to get that back but we'll see and if nothing else it'll be a fun project and i'm sure i'll learn lots and have lots of fun and stuff along the way it's already been kind of fun actually just going through the process of learning stuff about how you actually upload to spotify and how you get paid from that and working with music producers and music distributors and just the whole thing has been fun um anyway i'm out of here you guys might have missed the last bit of this if you did i apologize but um yeah i'm gonna leave now and say goodbye and thanks for